Hi, it's Obi again, and it is Friday. I'm so happy. I don't know if you guys do, but I have a three day weekend. But I'm like, yes, yes, I get to catch up on my sleep and be lazy on a Monday. Like, that's awesome. But, anyways, so we're continuing with Top 10 Week, and this is the last day of Top 10 Week for me. So, I'm going to be giving you guys my Top 10 shows I watch. They may not be my favorite ones, but they are some that I just, ugh, I just can't wait to watch when it comes on. So yeah, so let's get started. Numero uno. The first one is Impractical Jokers, and I love Impractical Jokers. It's a really funny show about like these four guys, and they go and they tell each other what to do, and if they don't do it like they get a point off and if they get the most points off by the end of the show they have to do something really embarrassing but basically they tell the guys to do things that are crazy and weird and embarrassing to people out in public and the people's reaction and their reaction is really funny so I love that show and it comes on True TV um the second one is Spongebob it's a classic and I grew up I grew up on Spongebob, and I love it. It's just a great show. It's funny and hilarious. Like, that's my, like, childhood. Like, it's part of my childhood, so I love that show, and I will continue to love that show. Um, the third one, this, is probably Bob Burger. It's also, it's like, it's not really appropriate for little kids, but... It's like a more teenager -y cartoon or adult cartoon and it's these weird characters and they're weird. It's, it's like the Simpsons and Family Guy. It's like one of those cartoons. It's really funny but it's a cartoon not for kids at all. So I don't recommend you letting your sister or brother watch them if they're really little. And it comes on Cartoon Network and it sometimes comes on Fox. So yeah. <clears throat> Number four, sorry, is hmm, the Goldbergs. It comes on ABC. Yeah, it comes on ABC, and it's about this not '80s family, and it's probably it's. I think they said it's based on a guy who who produces the show's real life and how his family was. So basically, he reenacted with the actors, and they make like. It's about his life that really happened in his life, and it's a really funny show. Like, I love that show. I think the season just started back up. At first, I thought they canceled the show, so I was like, oh no, I like that show. Why'd they cancel it? And then it's like, oh yeah, the new season. And I was like, well, that took forever for them to come back. But yeah, it comes on ABC, so yeah. Number five is an anime show. And it is Full Rumble. It's the first anime that I finished the whole series to. Um, and I didn't like that it ended, and I don't like the ending at all. But the series is super funny. Like, I love funny shows. So all these shows that I'm telling you that are funny. Um, but yeah, this anime show is really funny, and it doesn't drag on as much. Some episodes are kind of, it's like, oh, I don't want this. Episode going to be serious. I'm used to the funniness, but it's a really funny show. Um, slash anime. So, yeah. And I think it can, I think it might come on Funimation if you have that channel, but I haven't seen it on Funimation, but yeah. So, the sixth show is, sorry, I'm not like doing this by randomly, but the sixth show would have to be Snap Off. It's like, it's on MTV and it's the new show where they cook like unique dishes and it's probably the best cooking show I ever seen. Like I <coughs> sorry guys. I love that show. Um basically they make unique stuff and then if they move on to the second round and then you have to deal with a certain item and they have to incorporate it with their dish, their final dish, and if they win, they get the golden spoon. And they get a thousand dollars and they get their recipe in the snack off to cook and you can go on MTV and go over snacks to the snack off um, website and you can actually get the recipe for what they need and it's pretty cool and it makes me want to eat most of the stuff that's on there. But yeah, it's a cool show. 
Then the next one, he says, we're talking about MTV, you have to be ridiculous in it, because it's just hilarious watching people do stupid things. And Rob Meredith coaches it, and he's really funny, and he has celebrities on there, and it's a really cool show. Eighth has to be The Regular Show. I was obsessed with The Regular Show. I'm not as obsessed, but I'm still obsessed with it. It's a really good show. It's a cartoon. I'm going to cartoon up wearing it's about this bird and this raccoon and they do crazy teenagery stuff and there's creatures and weird situations. It's a really good show. Uh ninth pause for a minute. What else do I watch? Like guys, I don't watch really shows. So okay, right now I'll just say right now I like the voice. I like the voice way better than American Idol because the voice is more interesting in America Idol because they do different challenges and stuff. But once it comes to the part where they stop doing challenges and it's just singing, then I just cut the whole show all together. Because I just like, like for American Idol, I just watch the audition. For any show that's like a competition, I just like watching the auditions. And once the auditions is over, I just cut the show automatically out of my routine of watching shows. I'm just like, okay, that's it. I just wanted to watch the show for the audition. But yeah, and then the fifth show, um, what is my, uh, you know what guys, I'm just going to be honest with you guys and not hold up this video, because it's already kind of too long, but I don't have a, I can't think of any more shows that I like, but that's spot to be held for you guys, so I want you guys to tell me your favorite show right now and make that my 10th one you guys are helping me out so yeah that was my video i hope you guys have a happy friday and if you have a 3 day weekend like me have a good happy 3 day weekend celebrate today uh sleep and get a good night's rest be happy and enjoy it because that's awesome but if you don't go see i'm so sorry um Hopefully you get a break sooner or later to sleep. But at least you get to sleep. It's the weekend. But yeah, so I am happy that you guys watched this video. Thank you. I will see you on Monday. And yeah, so check out Ash's video. Ash is doing a video um tomorrow. And then on Sunday, we're taking a break. Because Sunday is break. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys Monday, hopefully. Uh, yeah, like subscribe and comment your favorite TV show. Bye!